super water, he got he got this half price. It was about fifty dollars. Oh so wow! It had the thing on it, the he got upgraded from the little one he got you. Yeah, because it didn't have this cool. and the battery that went out all the time. Yeah. yeah. So right on the ear, it should be just green stuff. It probably is. We're not looking in the right spot. Maybe we cross our eyes. <laughs> we'll get that once almost done. But. I can make those glasses on it, so I'm gonna glasses this. Thought boy, they they you have made some real goof decisions. But we all do. And you see I should be forgetting those and being so blessed. And I have been to be able even able to sit here with you and me mm -hmm. talking halfway intelligently. Halfway? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I did want to make sure that you could agree with the basics of what this is going to do. And Jan and I are going to be checking out a couple of little retirement places, too, next week. Now, that is a major, major decision. And I don't know whether I am ready to make a major financial decision here and then turn right around and make a... A lifestyle decision. Yeah. Like that. And it really would be. We have this lady next door who's 86. Mm -hmm. First time she's ever lived alone and she loves it. But very feeble. Lots of kids live in town and they check on her every day. Um, very sharp lady. And she just got out of the hospital again with more chemo treatment and her brother and his wife still live down the street and they both can just either one of them hardly move but they have a couple of kids in town and uh, she moved here so she could be close to her brother well and of course neither one of them is much help to either one <laughs> But, by the same token, they're where they want to be. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I don't know, I don't need all this house. But, I try to think, okay, how can we close off a lot of it and just not use it and not even have to be concerned about what's in those rooms, <laughs> you know? Well, you really can't in a house like this. I mean, let the cobwebs come. <laughs> well, there's there's this one community uh, that I know about, multi-story store, place on Yale and 81st. Yeah. I uh, don't remember what it's called, but we installed U-verse for this one lady there. Yeah. Her TV system and phone. Yeah. And. Uh, it's all it's a retirement community right and uh they've got the dining area on the main floor right yeah so everybody eats together and you Whether know they want to or not well i think they have a choice they don't have to because their each apartment has separate kitchen yeah. and everything right. else so it's a a choice i guess i guess yeah. it's available but I mean, it's it seems like it would be uh, at least fun. <laughs> Cause well, she's got a couple, a whole bunch of people in there. She's, she's, yeah, she's got a couple that have been recommended to her, mm -hmm. and uh, one of those uh, was recommended to me also, and there are others available. In fact, I'm wanting to check out the one where 
Jean and Irene Bond move. Mm -hmm. And of course Stan said, oh, we ought to get a duplex up closer to me and then we can live in one side and mom can live in the other. <laughs> and I thought, oh boy, we're screwing it up again. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. But right now, just let me make one halfway intelligent decision about not screwing up my checking account. <laughs> That's a good start. That's a good starting yeah, place. I yeah. have no intention of swapping and listening to all these big financial advisors telling you what you have to do. <coughs> Just leave me alone with my conservative, conservative CDs. Right, exactly. Yeah, and my, my retirement account, yeah. oh, forget which one, uh, uh, I've got several different accounts from different places at work, so... And they've you, built you up, and they've all lost value tremendously. It's been horrible for the last yeah. couple like of months else. here. <laughs> but is there any way to consolidate all those into one account when you've retired? I can do that now. Uh, like the 403B from Philbrook, I can move that to a different type of account as a rollover contribution um, to and consolidate. To already have. Yeah, right. I, I could consolidate know. it into a single IRA, lump yeah. some, you know, contribution into a, from a 403b to an IRA or something like that. Yeah. Uh, 401k, a couple of those, and and I should. I just haven't taken the time. Well, to see, do it. that's the thing. Any and any any major switch. Well, it's not that difficult to accomplish. It's just that right now. When I'm working six day weeks and I get a day that's, off, that's what I mean. It's I got to be priority for you, right? Yeah. And there are too many basic excuse others. Me. That's right. That are going on. <laughs> Priorities. She's still chewing toys. I know. How is the liquor? It's very good. It's like, it's very. It is a honey liqueur, so you can definitely taste honey in there. Well, see, I've got about three that she has given over the years. That's very good. Ah. This is tempting for me to just go buy one myself because that's so good. I <laughs> don't have a clue how much it is. <laughs> See, you're, no buy, you're buying the, the decoration. Almost, yeah. Very interesting bottle. And nifty, nifty. That's very good. But I thought a little bit that might be good for my tummy once in a while. Well, yes, but you haven't had any of it yet. I know. I, you should I have, have a... Not I will pour you a little tiny no, bit. No, not by now. A tiny bit? Not it's by now. It's very good. A little <laughs> tiny <laughs> bit. <laughs> no, 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 a little tiny bit and a little glass, a little shot glass, just as it tastes. Let me see. Is there anything else I want to <laughs> discuss with you? Here. Oh. You should have a tiny little bit, just as a, as a little... Oh, Winky! Winky. Oh, well, yeah, Winky is one of my... Winky and crap. Winky, okay. <laughs> there's a tiny, tiny little bit. Those just are as a little pretty much the extremes of my... Invective. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Sure. Thank you for getting the mail. Welcome, welcome. And, uh, yeah, and I still got, see, this is the stack ah! for today. And tomorrow. And yesterday. And the day before that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this is the stack for whenever the heck <laughs> I decide to enter all my expenses so far since the first of the year. But they're all right here. <laughs> Carefully stacked. I don't know. 
Well, you can always just get on the phone to me. I'll put together a spreadsheet that does the math for us, and you just tell me the dollar amounts and who it's for. Oh, wow. And I'll plug it into a spreadsheet and tell you what it adds up to, or balances out as. Ha ha. You could do that in your spare time. Around 11 at night to 12. No. <laughs> like, tell me once in the day, an hour. Your, my machine is talking to me now, Richard. Your computer is talking to It me? is talking to me. And lots of times I never know whether I should listen. What do you mean it's talking to you? What's it telling you? Well, that's the problem. It does different things, and then there will be deep silence. Does it beep, or what do you mean talking to you? Uh, Is there a recording voice that comes no, out and talks to you? No, there are. Noises, little noises. Yeah, it sounds like... Um, Grinding? In fact, it sounded like, well, yeah, and my, the, the printer is coming out very vague. Faint now? Yeah, because I just printed out uh, Jackie May's, Jackie Miller's new email address and uh, it's just it's in there sitting on the computer just very very light and the things I have done before that were very light also look Mr. Wiggles he is on his way well that smudge is almost to the point where I can do that really with her <laughs> Mm -hmm. she, come on, I she, thought she probably would like a companion, but I'd probably step on the companion as easily as I step on her. This is rather nifty. Isn't it good? Well, there's this big black cat where I buy my uh, propane. Mm -hmm. He's a guest cat at the uh, office there. She told me, would you like to adopt a cat? I said, oh, I can't. I don't live in a place I could adopt a cat. He's too, uh, that would be too much for yeah. my little boy dog to manage. And she said, well, he's just a guest. He's been here for a while. <laughs> he comes up, sweet as cat, prettiest black fur and green eyes. And he jumps up on the counter every time I come in to buy propane, which is essentially once a month in the winter. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's been there. Jumping up to say hello. He said it today, big guy. He curls up and lets you scratch him a lot. He likes the scratching. Oh, exciting. There's a bill. But he would probably be a good adoptable cat. Well, like I say, and I think a lot about it, and then I think, hey, Beth, you need to get yourself in better shape first. <laughs> you know? i got to go bathroom, Richard. Whoa, okie dokie. on the other side of this. this yeah, this lady here. that one. Yeah. No, she's gone back. She lives in Arizona. Mm. And she had brought the dog with her for There's a couple over there. Training. One. Yeah. An older one and a younger.
Oh, there she goes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sadie, 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 come here. Well, you don't want to play. Come here. You just stay. I'm not trying to. Oh, well, that's cheating. Grammy gonna come out? Yeah. Oh, there she goes. Oh, she's in your pants. All of you. Pants in your pants. Sit. Nice thing, though. Sit. Sit. Good. Sit. Say, come here. Come on. Are you left on? Oh, oh my God, oh, we're not. Naughty. That's bad. No, we don't tell her that. Yet. When I tell her to, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, she'll take advantage of it. <laughs> kind of like lifting Yoda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. He says, I can't stand still. I can't stand still. I can't stand still. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. It's a little easier when you're a little dog to get excited. You're a big dog, you get to be kind of naughty. Oh, it's just as easy when you're a big dog to get excited. Mm -hmm. right okay, you need one right here. Okay. I wasn't trying to speak badly about Sadie. I wouldn't trust any of them in there by themselves oh. with the food. <laughs> well, you're going to have to. No, 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 no. no, no. I wouldn't sure really wouldn't trust this one in there by himself with the food. <laughs> Daddy, I'm not, I wouldn't jump on the table. <laughs> Unless there was a chair lined up where I could get to it. Unless I could, you know, somehow. Okay, let's see if you can sit. Figure it out. Okay, come here. Sit. Oh, hold. Uh, hold. Don't be getting nervous in these scratch suits like that. Let's go scratch. More important than a scratch. She does that as a. Stop it, boy. Busy. Turn. Excuse. Be a fancy dog. Trust me. Ants in your pants. What's good children? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> when when all the energy is used up. <laughs> How's Mr. Theo now that night? <laughs> and it was cold, and Mom put it on him and put him out in the yard. And I started, she heard me laughing, and she she, I said, she put it on, and he said, shoot it up. Did and those things go behind Heard me behind laughing, legs? came over, and, yeah. and I was looking out the back That's window, and he was out in the yard, had red yarn everywhere, all over the yard. Oh, no. Yeah, a little bit, a little, yeah, little, little strip of it left around his neck, and he managed to chew all the rest of it off. In like 10 minutes, she had destroyed it. a lot. Tell the story about when your when buttons got ran away, and your dad said, well, we're leaving, or something. <laughs> that was funny. Well, that was just out in the middle of Arizona and it was snowing and freezing cold so and we stopped and somehow he got out of the car and he oh. Buttons was kind of dog. You opened the door. He was gone. He was gone. <laughs> Boom. He might see him like that night or two days later. He had to fair hands up. Don't let's into what my sister He got out of the car and he took <laughs> off off across the desert. He went. Oh. Dad went after him and came back about 15 minutes later and said, I don't know where he is. Get in the car. We're leaving. Oh. And he was going to have to leave two kids standing out there in the middle of it because we wouldn't get in the car. <laughs> Sorry. But when he came back or he found him? Back? Yeah, about five minutes later, he came running back up to the car and jumped in. Oh, my. <coughs> Amazingly. Oh, that's it's a gorgeous sweater. It is. It was Doc's sweater, and it has a little hole here that my sister needs to mend with her little with knitting needles or her crochet needles. I know. She's got a little hole with that on. I don't know. I guess it wasn't it's out there. Well, and, and it's got little straps on the back to hold it. Doc wasn't in there actually wearing any of his clothes much, he except wore his, coat, his coat. His coat. Yeah. Oh yeah, classy. Yes, actually, he enjoyed the sweater. Stupid people tricks. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. Take it. <laughs> knocking it off. He says the object is to knock it into your eyeball first, isn't it? As long as you don't knock it into my nose. <laughs> he says, do you have one in your ear? No. I'm oh. waiting for it to give me one. I almost got you. Come back here, dog. Come back here. Your fingers smell so good. <laughs> I can hardly stand it. Where are you going? <laughs>